Causes of hip pain. What are the common causes of hip pain? Pain can arise from the structures that are within the hip joint or from the structures surrounding the hip joint. The most important thing is to ask the patient to locate the site of the pain. Ask the patient to point at the site of the pain. When the patient states that their hip hurts, it doesn't mean the pain is coming from the hip joint itself. So ask the patient to point at the site of the pain. The pain can arise from structures that are within the hip joint or from structures surrounding the hip. Here you can see the hip joint on a bony model. The hip joint is a weight-bearing joint. The joint consists of two main parts, the femoral head, which is the ball, and the socket. The socket is called the estabulum. So the hip pain can be anterior hip pain, deep groin pain. The pain can be lateral hip pain. The pain can be posterior hip pain or far posterior hip pain coming from the sacroiliac joint and the lower spine. Anterior hip pain, usually deep in the groin. It can result from arthritis of the hip. The treatment is usually conservative treatment with physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medication, possible injections, and surgery is done in late cases, usually by total hip replacement. Anterior hip pain, labral tear. It is usually diagnosed by a clinical exam with a provocative test of flexion, adduction, and internal rotation, and the diagnosis is confirmed by an MRI arthrogram. The treatment can be conservative, done by therapy, by anti-inflammatory medications, or by injections. Surgical treatment provides good results, usually done by arthroscopic debridement or repair of the tear. Another reason for the anterior hip pain is stress fracture, which is usually diagnosed by an MRI. The X-ray may be normal. Early diagnosis is important before the fracture displaces and gives a bad result. The treatment is usually surgery by fixation of the fracture. Fixation of the fracture is usually performed utilizing screws. Femoral head replacement is done in rare late cases. Another entity that causes anterior hip pain is a vascular necrosis of the femoral head. Here you can see the normal blood supply of the femoral head. It's very tenuous, very precious. A vascular necrosis means death of a segment of the bone. When the blood supply of the femoral head is interrupted, a segment of the bone dies and becomes necrotic, and the femoral head will collapse. The diagnosis is usually done by an MRI, and the treatment in early stages of a vascular necrosis without collapse of the femoral head you will do decompression by drilling of this segment in the femoral head to bring a new blood supply to the area. Vascularized femoral graft may be used also. In severe cases with collapse of the femoral head, usually diagnosed by an x-ray, the treatment is usually a total hip replacement. Lateral hip pain is usually due to inflamed bursa. The treatment is usually conservative with physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medications, and injections. Surgical treatment by excision of the bursa is rarely done. In case of 
chronic, resilient, trochanteric bursitis, try to get an MRI to exclude a tear of the abductor muscles of the hip, the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscle tear. Posterior hip pain is usually due to piriformis syndrome. The sciatic nerve can be irritated from the piriformis syndrome. Treatment is usually physiotherapy, stretching, anti-inflammatory medications, and injections. Surgical treatment is usually rare. It is the last resort, and it includes release of the piriformis tendon and exploration of the sciatic nerve. And it is done in cases that failed to improve with conservative treatment. Far posterior pain may come from the sacroiliac joint or from the lower spine conditions. The SI joint problems is a challenging diagnostic and treatment entity. There's a lot of clinical examinations that can be used to diagnose the SI joint, such as the Faber test and others. However, injection of the SI joint is probably the method to diagnose pain originating from the SI joint. If there is improvement of the condition of the patient after injection of the sacroiliac joint, then we will probably consider that the problem is in the SI joint. The SI joint problems are usually underestimated and are unappreciated. Lower spine conditions can cause referred pain to the buttock and hip area. In fact, symptoms of hip and lower spine conditions can overlap, or both of them can coexist in the same patient, and you have to separate pain from the hip from pain that comes from the spine. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.